Hey everyone, Jen and Ray here, SlingshotFutures.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the market psychology, but a little bit of a different one. Not really a whole lot happened today in terms of movement in the markets. The markets were abysmally slow. So instead of trying to make something work out of the futures markets, which really didn't move a whole lot, I wanted to take a, a quick kind of time out, if you will, and look at a couple of different examples. They all are markets, they all move, they all have something going on, and they offer up a lot of different interesting points and things that we can learn regardless of whether or not the market's moved or not. So today we're taking a look at Halliburton, symbol H-A-L, and we're looking at it in a 60 minute chart right now. And Halliburton has had a very good rally higher. Uh, we've been going up since really the beginning of September and it hasn't stopped really at all. It, a little bit of a pullback here, but for the most part, really good forward continuation. Now, this is where things get a little bit interesting, because if we jump out and look at a daily chart, whoa, wait a minute, right? We've got a little bit of a bear trend since kind of the beginning of 2017, and we're catching a little bit of a dip lower now. But if we zoom out even further, now we have this as, well, maybe this is more of a range. So you can see how quickly things can get a little bit confusing. So the way that I like to do this is more of a top-down approach like we're looking at right here. On a daily chart, we know that we're kind of in a range. It's pretty obvious to see that we have some good areas of interest at the highs and good areas of interest at the lows. Now, it does tend to seem that the market, when it picks a direction, likes going that direction for a while. So when we have this downturn working lower, we were in a bear trend for really most of 2016 uh, and 2015. But then we turned around and started rallying higher. And again, when this market picks a direction, it usually wants to go that direction for a little while, right? So we've got a little bit of an interesting sort of structure now because we have a downtrend that's working lower and the market has broken above that. So a lot of times when you have a break above that, when you have a lower low, uh, higher uh, or lower high scenario, a standard trend that breaks, you tend to see that next pullback where buyers try jumping in. And that's kind of where we are right now. We've broken above that area. Now we're pulling back in the bigger picture, looking for bullish continuation as either proof that Halliburton is going to continue to the upside or a failure where we're going to fall back down to the lows again. So what we're looking for here is bullish continuation, but we need a little bit of extra proof. And if we jump into the daily chart over the last month or so, we can see that there is quite a bit of proof. That is a very strong bullish rally higher. There's a good chance that we can look for continuation. So if we zoom into a 60 minute chart now, this is where things get even more interesting because we have a nice bull trend working its way higher. Every time we get a little bit of a gap down, the initial reaction is fairly bullish, right? We have a gap down, the market did rally up for a little while, at least for probably 30 minutes of the hour. We have a gap up, it doesn't go so far. We have a gap down, largely bullish to a little bit of a pause. So we're seeing that very common trend of gap down, short-term bullishness for the next 30 minutes to an hour or so. But then we tie into this a little bit more, right? Today, we have Halliburton earnings. If we look at the before market open earnings, uh, this is on earnings whispers, uh, earningswhispers.com for those of you who are interested. Halliburton had their earnings earlier today and they came out better than expected, right? They were estimating it to be about 38 cents. It came out 42 cents. It's a really good uh, bit of growth, right? It surprised the market by a little bit, right? The surprise factor of about 10 and a half percent. So we have bullish news for Halliburton. Then we come in today and we open up with a gap down. Now if we zoom into a five minute chart, something really, really quick, you can't really see it here. So we have to look a little bit closer and see that, wait a minute, well we closed here and we opened way down here. And the day prior, we were finding a bunch of balance off of the 38.2% FIB. So we were finding a lot of support here and we opened gap down in a bullish scenario. We have Halliburton showing good earnings. We have an overall bullish trend trying to hold support on major levels of support like the 38.2 or the 60 minute support at 42.87. And we gapped underneath all of them. That's going to be a, a big trigger for a lot of folks. They're gonna see that as, wait a minute, right? We, we just opened up on fire sale territory. I can jump in on this and make a quick dollar move to the upside without much of a problem. So they fill the gap, right? The major objective is for them to fill the gap. We open up way down here. Buyers are given the opportunity to jump on in. It rockets to the upside, fills the gap, even goes through it a little ways. And then we start fading off. Right now, a lot of traders look at that and say, you know, they're, they're not paying attention to these quick little moves that happen in the morning. And they say, well, wait a minute, the earnings were good. Why are we bearish? 
Well, because everybody's taking profit now. You have to zoom in a little bit closer. Everything in context, we open gap down in a bull trend, or at least a longer term bull trend rallying higher on good earnings reports. That is where everybody bought in. Right, so everybody bought in right here. They didn't buy in way up here or any, well, I'm sure some people did, but most of the folks bought in down here, right, while it was still cheap and then started exiting up here. It's an important uh, kind of differentiation of zooming into the market and seeing what's going on. So it's a great concept of, you know, just in more of a deeper look in terms of the inner workings of some of these different stocks, Halliburton in this case, uh, because they had the earnings report and everything else going on, but longer, you know, bigger picture, buyers are still looking to jump in on this and rally this back towards the highs and so far we have good earnings everything is showing bullishness it's just a matter of do the buyers want to show up this is a short-term move now can they follow through with the long term so a very interesting scenario that played out today on good old Halliburton so that's going to do it for this one hopefully you learned something hopefully you found it interesting maybe a little bit useful and we'll see you all next time